there and welcome to today's Pleasure Beach Experience video. I'm Scott. And I'm Becca. And today we're going to be talking about 10 coasters that have surprised us in some way. Not necessarily they've been better than we thought or worse than we thought, just something has surprised us about all 10 of these coasters. We're going to start with you. I think we are, yeah. And before I do start, I just want to say we've chosen 10 different coasters, 5 each. And it's something that surprised us in a good, bad, or just some interesting yeah. reason that they surprised us. And this this conversation, this video, was brought on by me talking about my own personal top ten yeah, in yeah. the car on the way back from Blackpool about an hour ago. So we <laughs> thought, let's get the camera rolling, let's do a video. So my first one is Untamed at Wallaby Holland. I'm sure you're all familiar with Untamed. There was a really good marketing campaign for it done by Scott of Wallaby Holland. The reason this ride surprised me is as you may have seen from Cedar Point videos I don't really get on with Steel Vengeance I've found that it it's really rough on my thighs it's not a rough ride as such mm. but it kind of pins me because I'm a bit of a bigger guy I've got a, a bit of weight on my thighs and there's nothing I can do about it and where the lap bar sits just because of how intense Steel Vengeance is it really pushes on you after a certain point so when I did Untamed I was really worried and thought this is going to really hurt me again and it was a preview event and I'm thinking I really don't want to have been invited and then be going this coast is rubbish I don't <laughs> like it it's really hurt me and all this yeah so when we were going up the lift hill for the first time me and Mark I was there going this is going to hurt this is going to hurt how am I going to get out of this I'm sat at the back this is really <laughs> going to hurt me we went down the first drop and I was just like hold on a minute this is actually good then we went through the double inversion and I'm like well hey this is not hurting right Let's get those arms fully extended in the air and just enjoy this and not worry about the pain. And I remember getting to the brake run and being like, wow. I said something stupid in the video. I was like, we are untamed because I just enjoyed it so much. And I just didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. And as it happened, we just kept riding it over and over and over again after it. And there's no other RMC coaster that I've done that on. So it took me completely by surprise. When you go there and you're worried that you're not going to enjoy a ride and then you end up absolutely loving it and thinking, where is this in my top 10? You know it surprised you in a very good way. Yeah, it's not something I've done yet, but I was certainly surprised that you came back enjoying yeah. it. So. Yeah, because I remember messaging you shortly after I'd done it the first time. I was yes. like, I love this coaster, it's yeah. amazing. And I think that maybe that's the way I will enjoy other RMCs when they're not like Steel Vengeance, when they're a bit smaller not quite as intense and just a little bit more friendly on my thighs. Yeah. First coaster of yours that surprised you? So my first one is Rake at Fantasyland. Probably the coaster I enjoyed most there, which is really bad <laughs> considering it's a small oh, no. one of the smallest coasters. How could you enjoy that the most when they've got Taron and Black yeah, Mamba? But I didn't enjoy Taron, it was awful. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, I wasn't surprised by Taron, so it's not made the list. Um, yeah, it. when you look at it, you just kind of see bits of it because you kind of walk over it almost. Yeah. And you just see the odd bit of track going up here or around there. Bit of fun. But I had no cue, so I went on it while I was waiting for everyone else to catch up. And it was really good. Yeah. I just, it's just got a bit more about it. The station was really well done. You didn't know what to expect when you got there, so yeah. Yeah, because that was your first Vacoma family boomerang yes, coaster. Yes, the first bo family one, yeah. Yeah. And they're popping up quite a lot now. I mean, I'd, I'd done one in um, Ben 10, as it was called at Drayton Manor. It's now mm. called Accelerator. I did that in 2011 and then didn't do another one until I did Rake. Yeah. But I didn't do Rake when you did it. I did no. it a couple of months later. Um, and I did it in January of this year. And it was so cold <laughs> that it, it... I know it rolls back anyway, but it literally nearly rolled back to the point where it balanced on one of the hills because it was that cold. And I remember us getting back to the station, the ride-ups were like, no, close it, we can't <laughs> keep it running like that, because it was so close to balancing on the backwards airtime yeah. hill. Obviously, you go no forward idea. over it as well, but you know what I mean. Yes, yes, as it's gone backwards. So, number two. Number two for me is Cyclone at Coney Island. I posted about this quite a lot on Pleasure Beach Experience mm. socials before we went to Coney Island, because Coney Island was a bit of a stopgap in that trip. It was never planned that we would go there. It's just that getting to Cedar Point, the quickest way we could do it and the cheapest way so that we could afford it was to fly to New York. Yeah. So, of course, then we're going, OK, what's in New York? Well, Coney Island, that's obvious. Let's go. 
So we went there and I'm posting on PB social saying we're going to be riding the famous cyclone roller coaster and everyone's going, it's brutal, it's horrible, it's the roughest wooden roller coaster you'll ever ride. And I went with that expectation and the first time we did it, wow, it's just like so much airtime, and it, it just felt like a proper wooden coaster. Yeah. I remember saying to you, as a wooden coaster fan, you would love it. I would and love to go. Yeah, it's just such an amazing woody. And the more it goes, the faster it seems, the more raucous it seems, the more mm. it throws you around. And as well, again, as a big guy, the lap bar is so tight and you think, oh, this is going to hurt so much. And it just doesn't. It just throws you around in the right places. It gives you that right feeling that you would expect from a classic wooden coaster. Mm. And um, yeah, I one thing I want to mention, and I mentioned it in the the vlog from Coney Island, we did that ride about 20 times that evening and there was an American guy who was obviously local to it and he was racing us around and every time we went on it and he went on it, he was going, yeah, and it was just funny. <laughs> it, it just properly introduced everyone to that trip. And yeah. I'm sure you, you've been to Florida, you know what it's like when you get at a coaster enthusiast. Yeah. They're so Very fun to spend excitable. time with because they're just, yes. they're so happy to be riding coasters. And that guy was, he paid every time. Ten dollars a lap. He paid every time. We paid forty-eight dollars for the whole day. He was paying a ten or a time, and he did it about fifteen times with us. He must have been loaded. Yeah. But maybe he gets paid to shout, yeah. <laughs> but he was ace. Yeah. What's your next coaster? So my next is Lost Gravity at Wallaby Holland. I think we both walked up to Lost Gravity and went, oh. Yeah, we this did. This going to hurt. We this did. isn't going to be much fun. So we went up, we queued quite a while for it actually. We it did single while. rider in the end yeah. because the main queue, because we went 2016 Fright Night. Yes. And the main queue was about two hours mm -hmm. and we were just like, no. Well, <sighs> it looked to the point to us that we considered just leaving it, yes. not doing it at all. We did. Just going, oh, we'll get it another time. But I'm glad we did it because yeah. it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really good. Yeah, which just wasn't expecting that from it. I was expecting more of a Eurofighter kind of experience yeah. from it, and no, it's wonderful, really. <laughs> that was before we were doing vlogs, so we yes. we didn't really capture the moment of no. the first time we went on it. But we both sat, and I'm sure if you've been to Wallaby for the Friday nights, they have all the additional food areas, and they've got like mm -hmm. the picnic areas and the bars and the barbecues and stuff like that. And we were sat there watching Lost Gravity in the distance, yeah. and we were going. That first drop's gonna hurt. Yes. This is gonna hurt. But the reason is we didn't realise it was a Mac. Yeah. We'd done no research no. at all. We decided that we were going a week before we went. Yeah. And we just decided to go, didn't we? I mean that trip changed so much that we just didn't have a chance. At first we were flying, we were only gonna do go to Efteling. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we were driving, we were going to Toverland, yeah. we were going to Efteling, we were going to Wallaby Holland, so it was a very quick decision. Yeah. Now, this is a video idea. We should do a park that have surprised us the most as well. Yeah. If you'd like us to do that, let us know yeah. in the comments. Please do, because we'll happily do that. Because yes. we can tell you now, Toverland would definitely oh, be on yes. there. <laughs> but yeah, we that trip was weird because yeah. it was for my birthday. It was to celebrate that I'd beaten cancer yeah. as well, because that was the year I did. I'd had all my operations and everything was like going the right way and we said let's have a big trip mm -hmm. for my birthday and we said oh we'll just do two days at Efteling. EasyJet cancelled the car hire on us yes. at the last minute because they were demanding some ridiculous Whoa. deposit yeah. so we said tell you what we'll take our own car mm -hmm. we'll go to Toverland and oh Wallaby Holland that looks decent that was a Six Flags Park let's go <laughs> and we did no research all we knew that it was a Six Flags Park yeah. and that was it and we had an amazing day believe it's my next coaster. It is. It is indeed. And I'm going to go with Journey to Atlantis at SeaWorld Orlando and you will remember this so well. Yes, yeah, so where I, I had been on it when I was quite young. I've been on it quite a lot because I've visited Florida a number of times before we went. Yeah. And I knew you were going to like it, yeah. but I didn't <laughs> expect us to be running around when it was Fairly cold. That was actually. the coldest day. That was the coldest day. We were drenched. <laughs> yeah, we were. That was the coldest day we had in two weeks at Florida, and yeah. we we saw hurricanes, we yes. saw lightning storms, we were trapped in test track station for yes. three hours 
while we waited for a big storm to pass mm -hmm. and that was the coldest day at SeaWorld. Yeah. And unfortunately for Becca, I found a water ride that yes. I absolutely loved. We did do it so many times. I think we did it ten times on the bounce because <laughs> yes. it was walk on. Yeah. And the staff just let us stay on. Yeah. We were just getting out of the boat, walk up to the one at the front, get in, and off we go again. Yeah. And I, I didn't expect it to be that good. I thought it would just be a drier version of Valhalla. I <laughs> yeah. genuinely did. I just didn't expect anything from it. And ever since, I've been a fan of Mack water coasters. I just think they're a great idea. There's not enough of them. Mm. And I think that that is... When I think about, right, I want to go back to Florida, I always think about SeaWorld and journey to atlantis because yeah. i always think that is a great ride to go on when you're roasting out because you oh, know yeah. you can cool down just a little bit and i know there's plenty of political argument over sea world but for me it's all about the coasters there and i really liked that park but yeah, yeah journey to atlantis i remember saying to you on the last day have we got time to go and do it <laughs> yeah. a couple more times unfortunately we didn't but no. there will be another time yes there will definitely be another time maybe when Charlie's old enough to go on it as yeah. well. So then you can just be like, oh God, they're both going on it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means I can sit and hold the bags, it's fine. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. What's your next coaster? So the next one is Saw at Thorpe Park, which, <laughs> see, see. Just why? It's a fantastic coaster. Gert's sake. <laughs> yeah, so the restraints are absolutely horrible, but the ride itself is brilliant and when I got to going on it, everyone had told me how bad and how awful and how shaky this ride was. It's brilliant. It's a good ride. And you still like it now as well, don't you? Yeah. You still really like it. The rest of you just need to man up a bit. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Let us know in the comments if you like saw the ride at Fort Park. I know of one other person that actually likes it. Mullet? Yeah. Yeah, Mullet absolutely <laughs> loves it as well. That's why we always get him to come to Fort when you're there. So you can go on, you two go on it. We'll, we'll sit and watch. But Plus the queue line provides so much entertainment. Yeah, what I will it say comes. is it's well themed. <laughs> yes. I think it's well themed. Absolutely. I think they did a cracking job with it. The whole sort of area is done really well. And obviously yeah. it's a shame Sora Live is no more. But that's just one of those things. But yeah. I just like that area of Fort. Yeah. I think it, I know it's kind of doom and gloom but i think it's perfect yeah. i think it really fits in with forbes catchment area fits in with the kind of people they're trying to get to the park mm -hmm. and people who like the saw films not me and probably not you no nah, not so keen will always like that ride because of its theme yeah and i don't like it i don't like it at all but i will <laughs> always go on it when we're at Fort. Yeah. one because i know you like it and i just think if it's there just do it especially yeah. in the morning Top tip for Fort Park, if you're going to do so, do it early. early. Avoid the queue, go straight to it, do Stealth and Inferno later in the day. Their yeah. queues look after themselves. My next one, are we yep. ready? Yep. Yeah, it's up to you. Is Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood. Now, yes, it's got arrow features, so I knew there'd be bits of it that I would like, but I expected it to be first drop, second drop, boring. No, it's just... I don't, I don't know what was so surprising about it. It was just so good. Yeah. It was just one of those, again, where I could have quite happily run around going, yeah, because it was <laughs> just so good. We went to it first ride, and we were saying, as an Arrow fanboy, I'm going, yeah, but it used to be an Arrow. It was better when it was an Arrow, <laughs> rather than when Chance had done the retrack on it. First drop's a bit like Big One's drop, how it does the curve down. Then you've got the second drop, which goes through the wooden coaster, which is actually bigger than the first drop. <laughs> But that drop is about 200 foot tall and your ass just lifts off the seat and doesn't touch it again until you're going back up the next hill. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's so good. And then it's a bit of an oblivion moment when you get to the top of it and you just think, how are we getting through that wooden yeah. coaster? Because the gap looks tiny. But then the rest of it, you're looking at it going, is it going to do anything else after these two drops? But the airtime was just brutal and mm. it was brutally good. I mean, there was one point where we, I think we did it back two rows or back three rows the first time we did it, and we were just squealing the whole way around because the airtime was just insane. And then, of course, front row, even better because you just <laughs> got the immediate ejector out of your seat every time you went over the hills. Up there as one of my favourite coasters anywhere in the world and a total surprise. And I, know, I think you'd like it as well. Yeah. I really do. It's another one of those. You would love Kennywood. Yeah. Just Kennywood in general. All those wooden coasters, classic old feel about it. 
turtle chase where yeah. <laughs> so kind good. of an arrow hyper arrow yeah. meets chance you've got the old buddies you've got an obvious loop coaster you'd love it yeah another one for the bucket list for yes. you and charlie in a couple of years times absolutely know that you would love it yeah so your next coaster so my next one is the hulk but the rebuilt hulk yeah if you don't know much about it basically they got to the point where they just replaced the tire thing yeah um basically removed it and put back in the very same coaster yeah um and i was really worried because the hulk's always been in my top two coasters it's always been there and i was really really worried that they were going to ruin it and it rode exactly as it should it yeah. was perfect and I was really shocked and really happy about it, but I was really surprised. Oh, I remember. I remember. <laughs> we did then re-ride it. Hammered it. We took the decision that morning at um, Universal because we kind of underspent massively, hadn't yeah. we, on our budget for that trip. And this is before Charlie. Yeah. And we had quite a decent budget for that trip. And we got to, like, last three days and we're going, yeah. we've got a lot of money left. So we decided to get the unlimited... Ultra super duper fast pass, didn't we? Yes. For both of us, which meant that we did 17 rides in a row on the Hulk yes. when it had a two hour queue. We just, I think people in the queue were like, it's them two again, <laughs> just seeing us going up. But yeah. it's got a decent merge point, so it wasn't like we were getting on in people's seats. We were yeah, just kind of flowing you do, into the you queue. Do merge in rather than just actually appearing and stealing someone's seat out the way of them. Yeah, but it was just epic and yeah. I remember us both having ice cream after it and then yeah. having brain freeze yeah. but 17 times on the bounce while our heads were spinning mm -hmm. but I remember you saying all the way up to that trip they've ruined Hulk, they've ruined Hulk <laughs> and I was like well I, I don't really know because I've never been on it and yeah. the only thing that's original now is the station and the launch track I believe, yes. the rest of it they redid the second half of it was quite rattly in places nah. but it was still a great coaster yeah. It had a bit of a rattle, but wasn't rough, yeah, if that yeah, makes yeah. sense. I wouldn't go, oh, this was rough. No, no. But it certainly felt like a new coaster, but it felt fantastic. And mm -hmm. I can see why you love that. And I was very happy that you were pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Now, the last one for me is one very close to home, and it's time to talk about feeding the flames at Alton Towers. <laughs> the Wicker Man. Now, I remember posting on PBE, I remember posting on other forums, I remember saying in videos that the Wicker Man looked crap. And I know that you <laughs> pretty much think it is. Yes. But I honestly thought it was going to be absolutely rubbish. And I remember going to the Meet the Makers event at Alton Towers, and I remember speaking to people at Towers who even said to me, this ride is going to surprise you. We know what you're expecting. Yeah. This ride will surprise you. And I was like, well, I really hope so because it's close to where I live. I want a decent wooden coaster that close to home. And we did it those first few times. And I actually, I remember Andy Hind of the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain as well saying to me, you are going to really like this, Scott. You like your wooden coasters. You're going to like it. And I'm like, all right, Andy, let's just see. And yeah, it just totally blew me away. I was really surprised. I'm not really one for theming. The pre-show, I think it's decent. I like the flames. I like the music. I just like the ride. I think it's perfect for what Towers needed. Um, it might not be the biggest, best, scariest wooden roller coaster in the world, but in terms of what the UK needed for getting the public on side of wooden coasters, yeah. I think it's the right thing to have. But it just surprised me. And more airtime than I expected more intensity than I expected and I just enjoyed it I just enjoyed the whole thing and I was honestly expecting to come home that day and say to you yeah rubbish yeah and you'll probably remember I came home raving about it yes you did yeah and that was a long time ago so on to the last coaster so my last one just reminded myself what it was <laughs> <laughs> I think I've asked you about three times what it was called today yes um so Anubis at Plopsaland that's the one. Wasn't expecting much from it at all. Was expecting it to be fairly painful. Yeah. Which is in part true, but you get around 90% of the ride and it's really good, apart from the absolutely horrible restraints. I hate them so much. Yeah. And then you get to the last inversion and it kills it, it's basically. But the twist. rest. Yes. Yeah. But the rest of the ride is fantastic and that's what surprised me was the rest of it the the last 
couple of seconds is what I thought the whole thing was going to be yeah. like. And to get that far through it was really good. Yeah, I remember because we did have Charlie Wills and he was really yes. little. You did it first, came off it and were like, that was really good. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, okay then. But then I was thinking, oh, well, you like so it's a good <laughs> it might yeah. be whereas you like it and I don't and I was surprised by it too mm. I was really pleasantly surprised by it and I had no cue so I think no, we did it quite we a did lot do didn't it we quite a few times yeah yeah but I think I'd agree with you that the last bit was was awful the zero g roll yeah. or inline twist whatever it's called it was a bit unpleasant but mm. but what surprised you about it did you just expect it to be really rough I thought it was either going to be really rough or just not have much pace about it yeah a bit of just a bit shaky and yeah. feel a bit pointless, but the launch <laughs> felt good. Yes. Which I'm not much of a fan of launch coasters anyway, so no. it wasn't off to a good start before we got <laughs> onto it, really. But yeah, it was quite good. It's got good pace through it. Yeah. Plopsland was a good park. I'll, yes. I'll put a card on top of the screen. We actually did a mini vlog. Yeah, it was a rightly. really good day, actually. Yeah, we, we were there, what, three, four hours? Yeah, we, we were just stopping time. on the way past. Yeah, we were going to Overland. Yes. And uh, it was a nice sunny day, I think. Mm. I can't remember. I think it was sunny. I think it, was, it started off sunny. Yeah, it was certainly a good day, and like yeah. I say, there'll be a car, there will have been a car in the top of the screen linking to that one. But yeah, that brings us to the end. Our top, not top ten, but our ten most surprising yeah. roller coasters in a good and bad way. Um, let us know in the comments, let us know what coasters have surprised you in a good way where you've gone on it thinking this is going to be naff and gone yeah this is ace or you've gone on one thinking this is going to be excellent and gone actually yeah. that was rubbish. <laughs> so yeah let us know in the comments and please let us know as well if you have anything that you want me and Becca to discuss especially yeah. parks that have surprised us the most because I think that's one we could definitely yeah, put easy. together. I've already got the list in my head. Yeah I have as well <laughs> so that, I think that's one that we'll definitely do. Yeah. Just let us know in the comments if you'd like to see that and we'll definitely get that film but for now thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.